I have two more tarantula cribs enclosures to set up for Animal Con. This one I'm super excited about. Hello tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and welcome back to Tarantula Haven. Yes, I have two more tarantula cribs and closures to set up for Animal Con and I'm very excited about both of them, but I'm especially excited about this one. This one right here is the Tarantula Cribs Cube and it's been out for a little while and I did set one up for the last Animal Con. I put my Zenesis Intermedia in it. So I'm not gonna go into big detail about this one. If you wanna see a whole detailed thing about this one, you can check it out here on this video right there. So, um, but yeah, I'm still gonna show the setup and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in it for this Animal Con, but I'm really excited to get into this one because this one is unavailable and it has not been put out yet it hasn't been released so I'm giving you a sneak preview of what's to come at Tarantula Cribs. Okay, so let's start talking about this enclosure right here. This enclosure is so new, it doesn't even have a box. It just came in this foam box right here. And it is something that I've been wanting to see Tarantula Cribs do for a while, and they've finally done it. So they've got smaller versions of this. This is the extra large version of it. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what it is. So why do I think this enclosure is so cool? Well, the reason for that is because they did a complete redesign on the treehouse enclosure. Now, don't get me wrong. When they first came out with their treehouse enclosure, I loved it. I thought it was great that they'd finally put out an enclosure for our arboreals. There is one thing that I did not like about the treehouse enclosure, and that is that it didn't have a top opening lid. In my opinion, an arboreal enclosure should have a top opening lid because when your tarantulas try to run, when they try to bolt from you, when you're dealing with anything inside of the enclosure, it's always good to have front opening and top opening. But in my opinion, top opening is more important than front. So if you have something that is hot, like a pokey or something like that, and you're trying to go in there and you're trying to clean the enclosure or rehouse or do something to that effect, they have a tendency to either go down and hide in their substrate or they wanna go up to escape from you. Now, if they go up and you don't have a means of getting to them from the top, you're gonna to have to be reaching through here and they don't call them parachute spiders for nothing. They will drop down and they can drop down on your hand and give you a nasty bite. So I have never used a treehouse enclosure to put a hot species in because I've always worried about that. There's not enough room to deal with everything through this front opening lid right here. But once you put that top opening lid on there, it's a whole new ball game. Now you can reach in there, you can do stuff, you can put a catch cup in there and so on and deal with everything inside of that enclosure without putting yourself in any kind of danger. So this is not a completely new concept. They do have their treehouse switch enclosures that are smaller. They have their small, their medium, and their large. This is the extra large, which is something that they hadn't put out yet. So um, it is brand new as far as the the size of it is concerned, but the product itself is already available in smaller versions. Just the fact that this is a bigger version. Um, this is the equivalent of an Exoterra Mini Tall, I believe, which is 18 by 12 by 12. So um, you can put in your large arboreals in here, your old world arboreals, and not have to worry about um, putting yourself in any kind of danger. But not only that, Tarantula Cribs also took it a step further. Because this is a switch, you can switch out the background. So in this case, they gave me a white background, but I believe there's also a black background that you can put on here, or you can leave it clear if you would rather have the clear. And I believe they will come out with other colors later on as people demand it. Um, they're already doing that with their coffin cribs. They're coming out with some new lines that have 
different colors, like for Halloween, orange and black, and they're even talking about putting out purple. So that is really cool. That just increases the amount of things that you can do with your enclosure if you wanna use one of their backgrounds. So enough talk about the enclosure, let's go ahead and set it up. In this enclosure, I'm putting down a drainage layer because I'm gonna be using live plants in it. I'm also putting down a nutrient-rich soil that I mixed myself that I use for my isopods to feed the plants. And I'm topping it off with Repti soil to fill up the rest and give it more volume. I love using Dracaena because it seems to do well in my enclosures and it's pretty hardy. I'm kind of taking a chance with this clipping of Monstera dubia because it is a good climber, but I don't know how well it's going to do in this enclosure. And I'll balance it out on the left side with a little bit of button fern. Add some leaf litter to give it a natural look. And I'll finish it off with this 3D printed shelf fungus that I'll use as a watering dish that I got from Shane's Spiders. And what better tarantula to put into this large arboreal enclosure than one of the largest Pacillotheria species, Pacillotheria rufolata. And I thought I could just casually walk her over like I did with my Pacillotheria formosa, but she was having none of that. And this is why this species commands great respect because they are lightning fast and quick to bite. I tried using a catch cup, but she was just too feisty for that. Ultimately, I decided to just do it the easy way and carry her on her cork bark to her new enclosure. As you can see, this species is very bold and will stand their ground. In this case, she refused to budge and chose violence.
And finally, I won out just by blowing air on her and she quickly backed off. I was hoping to get some footage of her walking around in her new enclosure, but she actually refused to budge. She just stayed at the bottom of the enclosure, but it gave me some opportunity to get some good close-ups of her. I love looking at all her markings because to me they just look painted on and unreal for a living creature. For the cube enclosure, I pretty much repeated the same steps as I did for the arboreal. I wanted to create a ledge on this one to give it more depth and I have a beautiful piece of Mopani wood that I think would look great in this enclosure. I also added some silver baby tears, which I really like because it makes a nice carpet on the substrate and I plan on putting that on the arboreal enclosure as well, I just forgot. And for this enclosure, I'm going to put in my Zenistus species blue. For the longest time, this tarantula had been a dream species for me until a friend of mine gifted her to me. For this one, I'm going to use a catch cup because this is a very skittish species and quick to flick hairs. So I don't want to take a chance of her bolting and falling on the floor. And I don't want to get any of those urticating hairs on me. I'm very surprised at how calm she's being.
and the coloration for me is just absolutely stunning. All of the Zenith species seem to have very striking colors on them. This one to me is especially beautiful. I love the carapace with that pink coloration, but that metallic sheen to it. And those blue legs are just beautiful. So what do you think? Two cool new tarantula cribs enclosures ready for Animal Con. And there's a couple things that I forgot to mention. One is about the uh, treehouse here. You probably can't see it on camera, but the lid and the door are slightly tinted. You can notice a little bit of a grayish color to them. And that's because they're now using moisture and warp resistant acrylic. And that's a really good deal because if you've had a tarantula cribs enclosure before and maybe it warped because it was um, moisture dependent species, kind of like these two that I have here, where you have a lot of stuff in here that requires a lot of moisture, you may get a little bit of warping with your um, lids, but now they have these moisture resistant lids, so you probably won't get that anymore. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is that both of these are 12 by 12 in um, <clears throat> their perimeter here. So if I remove these lids, They also have an extra canopy attachment that you can put onto the top of those enclosures and it gives it, it, gives it that nice little house look to it. And it also it extends the height of your enclosure. So not only will it go on the cube, but you can also put it on the tree house. And now you got an extra tall tree house. So that is a really cool feature. Something that Tarantula Cribs is doing is adding all these little extra attachments that you can do to enhance your enclosure. And that's what makes Tarantula Cribs so great. I hope you enjoyed my two tarantula builds that I did here. I can't wait to get them to Animal Con and see what people's reactions are going to be when they see them. And if you are interested in getting any of these enclosures, now of course this one is not out yet, it will be in the future, but the smaller ones are available. You can get them at tarantulacribs.com. They have so many different enclosures to choose from, different styles, and lots of attachments that go along with them. So, you know, you can really get a nice enclosure and set it up any way you want. And if you want to get a disc Discount on it, you can use the discount code THAVEN10 and he'll give you 10% off your order. And if you like that little shelf fungus that I put in there as a watering dish, that came from Shane Spiders. I did a video on that a couple of weeks ago. He sent me a package with a bunch of little decorations and things that are useful to put into your tarantula enclosures that he sells on his website, as well as spiders. So if you want to get um, any of those kinds of things, you can go to shanespiders.com and you can get 10% off your order if you use the discount code Tarantula Haven. That wraps it up for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you plan on attending Animal Con, I will have these two enclosures there as well as the tarantulas that are in them and some other ones that I plan on bringing as well. I hope to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, I have a Teespring store where I sell Tarantula Haven merchandise. Until next time, keep loving them tarantulas. <laughs>